Hey guys, welcome to this week's Steam Culture. We're on site this week, I'm very excited. The topic this week is using steam in the lumber drying operation. So I'm here with our friend Tom Thompson at Salem Hardwood, and it all starts in the boiler room with the steam. So, Tom, tell us what you're burning in the boiler. Uh, sawdust, green sawdust and dry sawdust. Okay, and the sawdust comes from? Scrap wood. Okay, so kind of cool. It's, uh, it's a resource that's already being used in the plant, so instead of wasting it, We'll burn it in the boiler. So what sort of pressure would this boiler run at? Uh, we run right around 110 pounds of pressure. Okay. 110 PSI. 110 pounds of pressure and we're sending the steam? Out to the kilns. Okay. Out to the kiln. So we're going to go follow the trail out to the kiln. Come on. Okay, so here we are. We are now at a kiln that's being loaded. This is almost loaded. I guess this is one more. Yeah, one more row comes in here. Okay. And then they get right around 70,000 feet in here. They close the doors, turn it on. Steam starts coming through the coils. Uh -huh. The coils heat up and the fans come on and then start pushing the air one direction. And when it gets up to a certain temperature, it'll go back another direction and keep reversing and going forward until it gets all the moisture out of it. It runs about 160 to 190 degrees. Okay to get the moisture out. Now how long how long will that run? Like how will you know when it's dry? It's, got, it's all computerized, it's on a program, uh -huh. and usually about 70 hours. 70 hours, yeah. and how, how much lumber is in here? 70,000 feet. 70,000 feet, yes. 70 hours. That sounds like a formula yeah. to me. So I noticed the way the lumber is stacked up. This is to let the air, these sticks are put in here to let the air go through it so it can dry it Okay. from inside out. So what would happen if, um, let's say we took the lumber out early and it was too... It, it would was crack. Too, it would crack. It would crack. Okay. It would bust and then it'd be junk. Awesome. All right, we're coming in the back of the kiln and we have... Tom, what, you, what kind of wood is here? This is poplar. Poplar, okay. And I asked um, Tom this when we were walking, I thought this was an interesting point, and that was if we weren't in a kiln, with steam uh, and a coil system, how long would this take to dry? Forever. It'd take two or three months to air dry. And in here with the uh, with the with steam and the coils, this is going to take 70 70 hours. 70 hours. So 70 you can, to 80 hours. Depend on how much moisture content in the lumber. So you can see why we're using steam in this operation. Now, what's going on back here? We got we got steam and we got a little trough here. Well, this is our drop offs for the condensate. Whenever we get ready to close the kilns up, we turn all this off. This right here is keeping it from freezing because of cold weather. But we turn all this off and then the fans come on and then the steam starts going through the coils and starts heating everything up. Okay. And it'll get up to temperature at about probably 12 hours. Okay, now I just stuck my head in a working kiln and that's not a place you want to hang around. It is, no, it's, it's hot. It's very hot. And it's cold outside, and I think I'd rather be outside. So, yeah. so speaking of which, we've got all this poplar, so now we're going to go see what the finished product looks like. Okay, so surprise, there's a bunch of lumber here. So, Tom, why don't you tell us what phase are we in right now? This is the building they put it in to de-stick it. It's got sticks in between it, like we explained before, mm -hmm. for air drive, for the heat. And they take it from here into the building area to de-stick and take all the sticks out of it. Okay. Well, and then it's packaged up, ready to sell. Ready to sell. Right. Cabinets and hardwood flooring. Let's go look at the finished product and we'll wrap this thing up. It smells great in here. I love the smell of fresh cut lumber and this, this is awesome. So anyway, I listen, Tom, I appreciate it. Thanks for the, the tour. You're welcome. Guys, this is really cool. I wish you had the opportunity to see it the way we've seen it. Hey, I hope you enjoyed being on site with us this week. I love being on site, seeing how things are made. I love making the connection between something that's made with steam and some product that's in your home, like your cabinets or your hardwood. And that's the whole point of the show, the connection between steam and culture. So I hope you've enjoyed that.